Welcome back to the Nintendo Wiretap. I'm your host, Amiibo Jason, and on today's episode, we have two stories to cover. One retro, one not so retro. So, without further ado, let's take a look. Coming in at number one today, the Nintendo 64 almost had a second screen on its controller. Now, this story's weird, just, just a bit, but I love weird, and I love Nintendo 64, so this story is right up my alley. So, this story comes from an old issue of Electronic Gaming Monthly that was brought to light by Twitter user Shane Beatty. Now, don't expect to be playing the Nintendo 64 on this screen. This was more like a second screen companion. Now, if you're a fan of the Sega Dreamcast, like I am, this is very, very reminiscent of the VMU. The VMU let you essentially see stats from your game. For example, in Resident Evil, you could see your health bar, you could see any items that you have. Um, sports games, you could see different plays that you could use so your friends couldn't see what play you were picking. It was kind of a novel thing, and I was a big fan, so having something like that on the Nintendo 64 could have been cool, and I would love to see what Nintendo would have done with this thing. But alas, this is just a prototype, and it never came out, obviously. And really, we have no idea if anything was ever developed for this thing, or if this was just maybe a proof of concept. But who knows, maybe 10 years down the line, or maybe even longer, somebody is going to find a working prototype with some sort of software. And we could see, finally, what Nintendo was hoping to do with this monstrosity, I guess. It's not pretty, but at the end of the day, it looks pretty darn cool. But there you go, a long-lost Nintendo 64 screen. Who would have thought? All right, folks, coming in at number two today, this story is another one of my favorites of the day, and it's Goose Game related because who doesn't love Untitled Goose Game? Now, this happens to be a Lego Ideas set for Untitled Goose Game, and at this point, it's not official, but here's hoping it's going to be very, very soon. So if you're familiar, LEGO Ideas lets fans essentially create their own LEGO sets and have the community vote on it, and if it gets enough votes, it could potentially become a real thing. Now, many sets have essentially come to light because of this program, and here's hoping that Untitled Goose Game is going to be another one of those sets. Now, here's the thing that's going on right now. This one is pretty much brand new, but it's already a staff pick. And on top of that, as of this recording, it's already reached over 1,000 votes for this to become a real thing. And if you're not familiar with this service, you only need 1,000 supporters in order to get essentially considered to have a real product. Now, at the end of the day, the good folks over at House House need to make the decision if this is a right business move for them. But judging by this set, it, it's just way too cute. And judging by just how cool everybody at House House happens to be, I have a feeling if this gets approved by LEGO, this is going to be a real thing. But if you want to vote and take a look at high-resolution images, I have a link to all of that stuff down in the description below. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up tonight's episode of the Nintendo Wiretap. I'll see you soon with yet another episode, but as always, until then, stay wired in. Bye, guys. Wow.